All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So today is Friday. That means we are playing Tremids. I tweaked the deck a little bit from last week, and we're just going to straight cancer because it's just, it's just so good, you know? It really is. It really is that good. Uh, so I can go ahead and activate this. I forgot all these Tremid cards. So this card is run, and I can go ahead and get a search. So that's nice. Uh, if I can get a Tremid monster off of my Duality, it'd be a little bit better. So I think I'm going to Duality first. Because if I can get a Tremid monster... Then I don't have to do a particular play. All right, so I can grab Sphinx, which means that I don't have to search for him, right? Then I can play uh, King. Let's just say you can target one enchantment monster and I'll add it to your hand. Uh, cruiser would be the best one, actually. Yeah, I need Cruiser. Ah, I need Cruiser. Cruiser is a searcher card. I thought I thought it was King Golem, but no, Cruiser is a searcher one. So I need Cruiser because I can activate Cruiser. Now this is gonna, this is gonna, this is gonna, this hand's not the great, it's a little slow. I kinda need a Trimid monster to open up with. So I can play Cruiser. And then when Cruiser leaves the Hill Tail Zone, I can go ahead and add this card. This will come, uh, you could target one Trimid monster in your graveyard and add a target to your hand. And this is like a special summon. Because I, I need to add a Trimid monster so I can tag out. As well as. I mean, Dancer putting it back wouldn't be terrible, but I think maybe Mastery, because he's, he would just be stronger in general. This increases my defense. Uh, and then I'll, I could probably tag out into King Golem if he declares an attack, you know? I'm still learning deck. I'm still learning deck. Uh, it's only my what, second video? Second video? Uh, you know how I am. I don't. I, either I set one or set one. I don't want to set just two, because if I set two, then I'm just asking to be hit with... Uh, if he wants to Twin Twister this, I mean, I could always just tag it out for a different fill spell, that's nothing. But I don't want to set two, I and mean, then he Twin Twisters two, you know? Like, generally, I set one or multiple higher than two. But it's never, never exactly two. Because I'm just I'm just asking for freaking Twin Twister. Oh, no. Fucking obedience school. All right. All right. That's fine. Can't tell him strike that. It would have been better set than these, but I wanted to hold on to the than I thought maybe I could stop him with strike, because I still want to special summon and do things like that for right now. Uh, you like a title. Always some crazy shit, always. Um, I have yet another uh, regionals this weekend. Uh, this, you know, tomorrow being Saturday. And uh, I'm, ta I'm taking a fairly competitive deck in my opinion, but it's never just that simple. Just like with Cosmos. It's just like, you couldn't just take Cosmos, you couldn't just do cookie cutter shit. No, I always gotta do something crazy, you know? Because if I'm going to, you know, represent and uh, do something accordingly, so... I guess the best t thing to do right now would be to, uh, we to tag out. <laughs> would be to tag out this fill spell for a different fill spell, but Obelisk Tormentor is going to be a tough one, because it can't be targeted to show by Carfax or whatever. Like, this is going to be a tough one, you know? I <sighs> need, like, Quaking. <laughs> I'm playing Quaking. Quaking would be wonderful right now. Quaking Mirror Force is literally turning to, like, one of them. One of, I'd, I'd say the best Mirror Force is Quaking. I really do. Uh... Kind of thinking if I should tag this out. Yeah. Tag this out. But I didn't know he was gonna fucking obelisk a tormentor my ass. Like, alright. So this sucks. <laughs> you know, if I would have known that, I definitely would have set the vanities. Because my strike does like nothing against obelisk unless he activates his effect. But I seriously doubt he will. I, I, th I think he's just gonna sit there with a 4,000 attack monster who can't be targeted. And of course, I get another solemn strike. Like, awesome. Awesome. So. I'll go ahead and activate this over this. This will activate. Ah, uh, I'm trying to think if there's like anything I can really do. Let's just do. Cards that you special one charming monster from your hand. No, it's from my hand. I was thinking like maybe I could do something. There's not too much I can do. Gives me a maybe's effect. Again, 500 attack. Defense. Could put him back. Like I. Like, I'm, just, I'm just not drawing to the cards I need to handle Obelisk right now. You know? Like, absolutely. Again, an additional normal summon. Like, if I, if I had two hunters, like, if I had, like, Call the Hunter or something to revive my master that died, and I had this match that I can go into, like, Utopia the Lightning and run his ass over. But, outside of that, I really don't have anything, and that's what really sucks right now. Like, I could, I could get, like... Especially when trying to monster from your hand. That'd be great. If I get like Sphinx and I get like a different field spell. Like I'm, 
I just, like, you know, I, did, I didn't get anything. I didn't get anything to handle Obelisk of Tormentor, but oh, I already know. Obedient School is a stupid fucking card. Stupid fucking card. Like, I don't even care what you're fucking summoning. Like, did you just summon three monsters from your fucking deck? Yeah. It's broken, but hey, Konami doesn't fucking care. Konami doesn't fucking care. Konami does not fucking care. So if I let that go through, I might die. I won't die, but just what does this card do? To draw a monster on monsters your opponent controls. Not even I thought it was cards, maybe I thought I could bait him, bait Obelisk the Tormentor. <sighs> Can't strike that I'll die. It vanities it, but it's not too much of a threat. Then this would be summon. Yeah. But if I vanities now. Oh, and he targeted the vanities. All right, all right. And yeah, I'm just gonna scoop. Like, wow, I pfft, strikes. I'm glad I got my Salam strikes and my vanities. Just like, you know, where's my lose one turns? Where's my like? I I lost that duel because I decided to set the Salam strike instead of vanities. Remember the vanities? Vanities still being in school. He had nothing. But because I fucking did uh, strike, strike doesn't do anything of the obelisk. I didn't draw into my quaking. It's rip. GG. All right, get another duel. Bear path. Ah, <sighs> Yu-Gi-Oh, 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 stupid. Like. It doesn't matter. Konami's just terrible at card making, and it's all about the money. Like, this this game, this game, I swear to Christ, this game. Anyway, this is the one that lets me add, right? Yeah. Once again, I just kind of would like a... a... a Charmed Monster. <laughs> oh, so... I guess I'll go ahead and grab Master. Master can switch me out of Phil's Spell, once again. At least I got Quaking, at least. Once again, I'm just gonna set one. Just gonna set one. Uh, so, going to another regional. This time it's in Vegas, it's in Henderson. Uh, the deck that I'm going with, on paper, it looks so good. Like, it, it, it looks like some straight up cancer, you know? And I think that I'm ready. I think I'm ready. So, you try to go and try my monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. It, Twitchers is like the weakest of the three field spells, so it really is. You know? And yay, I'm going against Monarchs, so this should be fun. And by fun, I mean absolutely not fun. And then now I don't get my fucking vanities or solemn strike. Now I would love solemn strike. Now would be the best time to have solemn strike. You know, especially if he doesn't have like return to solemn strike his fucking monarch when it activates its effect. Wow, wow. I'm glad that you just ended the fucking turn without asking me if I wanted to do anything. Like, all right, all right. So I want the one that I can summon a trumpet monster from my hand. Is that this one? No. Is it this one? No, that's a searcher one. I can send a Triumph Monster. I control the graveyard. Target a set card. Control and pop it. No, no. I mean, outside of poking you for 18, there's not too much I want to do right now. Because now, at least I drew the Sphinx so I can tag out the Fortress. Wish I could just, you know, do things now. I wanted to activate, you know, I guess I, I guess I always have to, like, that's the one thing that I cannot stand about playing on YGL Pro, is that shit just happens without doing things. Because if I was playing this shit in real life, I'd be like, okay, you know, during your end phase, I'll go ahead and activate the master effect. But they didn't even ask me if I wanted to activate my effect during my opponent's end phase or nothing. Just, just ended before I could even say, hey, I want to tag out my field spell. So now I might be in some shit, because I need to tag out my field spell, but then tag it out again. But I can only do my effect once per turn. So, I might be in some shit, you know? I might be in some shit. At least the fill spell that I can tag out into is actually pretty decent. You know? Because I can tag out... I think the one I'm going for is my... Uh, my 500 boost one. So if he comes after me, I can boost 500. I'm just going to hold the A button. Alright. No, no, I'll wait. During the end phase. During the end phase. Yes, there we go. During the end phase, Master Effect. Tag out my fill spell. There we go. See, I had to hold the A button. Like I said, but it always changes annoying because they'll ask me like multiple times, like three, four, five, six times. It's like, hey, there's nothing to do. You want to lift the field or shit like that? You know, the best thing to do would just be hold the A button and respond always. But sometimes you just forget. Sometimes you just forget. And get Golem, and then this is a card can special summon a charming monster from my hand. So. And it gives me my Mady's effect, so I can get me in with a 23. So that's nice. Now I'm just drawing all these calls of haunted, and so that's not doing anything. Like, I have an Armadius effect and I'm 2300. I can go with that. 
It's good. Like, it, it's weird that Charming Monsters can only activate during my opponent's turn. Like, it'd be cool if they could activate during the other player's turn. It, it the deck a lot more plays, you know? Maybe I should just give a Charming Monster that can get rid of, change the field spell during either player's turn. You know, they need more monsters. They do, they do. They need more monsters. Charmings need a lot. <laughs> so, uh, I'll just set the call on the Haunteds. If he wants to turn twist to them, then I guess. You know, they're not really doing anything. He's not really doing anything. I don't know, I can't tell if it's just Monarch Brick City or what. Yeah. But, you know, I can always go out there something. I could just go Tremid Master Pop Summon. Like, wow, he's seriously not doing anything. Like, Alright. I got another Quaking. Quaking is my opinion. The best. The Drowning is really great, but you have to have no monsters, you know? So it really depends on the deck, you know? I'm playing the card in my deck, but. Sometimes I don't want you to attack, you know, but sometimes I don't want you to attack my monsters, you know? Sometimes that's just like, I can only play Drowning when there's no monsters. You know how many times I fucking dead draw Drowning? Like, I already have a monster, my opponent never attacks me directly, you know, like that? It's a dead draw. Well, quick on the hand, it's like, it protects me from my monsters, and, and I set your monster face down, I'll handle them when I want to, it doesn't target, you know? It's like, uh, storming, it's same thing, you, you know, it protects my monsters that well, but I don't want to give you back your resources, you know? I, I'd rather... Permanently sit your monsters, and I'll hand them during my own time. No, because they're down. Like, quaking wouldn't be as great if I put them down, and then you could put them back up whenever. You know, that would be that would make quaking terrible. But the fact that you can, you know, summon five monsters, attack me with all of it. You know, and while I can hit you with that drowning if you attack me directly and blow you away, I can hit you with that quaking. Set all your monsters. You really can't do anything. You know, until I deem it when I feel necessary that I start killing. You know. And, you know, I'm in no hurry. I'll win the duel eventually. So I'm really starting to like quaking. Really starting to like quaking. So, Mr. Monarch guy. This guy who says, you know, fast. But you're not really doing anything. Like, are you actually going to, like, do something this turn? Okay, so you're going to compulse me. Okay. But you still got to do something, you know? I could just normal summon and fuck you up next turn. Like... I should have had the other quaking. I guess now it's time to do something. You want to compulse me first. So, which monarch are you summoning? Okay. Sure. Sure, you can have that. Tell me what I'm at at. Ah, sit down. Sit down, I'll hand you all my own accord. That's truly how I feel about it, too. There's nothing for Idea to grab right now. I just can summon Idea, but... Ah, Carter of Mines. All right. Oh, I mean... It's not too much that I'm doing right now. I'd say the biggest gripe right now is that he... Vanities. Okay. That's fine. I was really wasn't planning on special summoning too much anyway. I bet you feel like a real jackass right now. I could card and mice. That might be best. That might be best to card and mice. I wish I could call the hunter the Sphinx. Yeah. I could switch you out, Miss Card blah blah blah. Because you know, 'cause you're not really doing anything, you're not really doing anything. It's hard to sense okay, you can tell me but you don't have anything like that, you know. Uh, I think I'm probably going to end up playing Card of Demise. Oh, I could have sent to pop one of his set cards. I forgot I could do that. I forgot I could do that. Now now I should have done that. I should have did the King Golem and then played this one. Now I don't want to really do this, because this will get me... It gets me a search. But I would lose my field spell. And then I don't have any more field spells to tag into right now. This search is moving for a Trimid monster, so that wasn't the best of plays. I, I forgot that he could send a Trimid card, which including my foil spell to pop a set card. Kind of forgot about that. Uh, yeah. yeah, I misplayed. Maybe we'll this deck a little bit better. Glad I'm drawing on all these Call the Haunteds and shit that aren't doing shit. Ow, yep, yep. See, that would have been better if I would fucking would have did that. Wow, I seriously misplayed in this duel. Who the fuck plays Deep Prism? Like, alright. Wow, and I'm gonna lose my monsters. Awesome. Awesome. I'm gonna lose my dancer. Well, I got called the hunted, so I'm okay. 
so I guess I'll play this one. This one can search me for a charming monster. But do I want to do that? Well, I gotta play Fortress. I'll talk to you in your I add it to your hand. You get a search of a Trimid, it's a Trimid monster, right? I can't special summon for the rest of the turn, so rip on that. I'm gonna lose both, I'm gonna lose all my monsters. Like, this sucks. I was hoping to get some back row, but I didn't get it. shit. Like, this duel is actually going legitimately stupid because I'm not getting anything, and then he's just going stupid. Like, all right. I do normal summon this turn because he just happened to compulse me, you know? Oh, and I have called on some shit, so. They do present me, so he can't do anything. He can't flip these out, but I wouldn't be surprised if he just tributes for another monarch. Yeah. The colored my decks are seriously weak to fucking this shit. Seriously weak. I said, it doesn't matter what I do. It'd be cool if I could, like, you know, activate my effect on the field, but Shen was all backwards, so I'm still gonna get hit. Oh, it got banished, so because it got banished, then I'm okay. Cool, cool. So, thank you for actually banishing me. So I want the one that I summoned the Tremic Monster from my hand, because I'm about to add back my strengths. Because then I can always activate Call the Haunted, who can summon back my master, and then my master can tag out. Definitely want to keep Dancer on the field. Okay. Thank, thank Christ. You know, is that... Is it BLS? Oh my god, it's fucking BLS. Wow. Alright. Alright, that's annoying. That's annoying. Wow, wow. How is this guy... Like, what the fuck is this Monarch deck? This duel is so annoying. Always something crazy. Always something crazy. Alright. Well, if you use your effect to banish me, oh, you're just gonna enter battle. Alright, well, like I said, I can always activate my master, tag out my field spell, summon my Sphinx, and, uh... Then you won't be able to do anything because you have to attack my Sphinx, who will be definitely bigger than you. So, come at me, bro. So, if you have fucking honest, I will fucking kill you. So, you just run into my shit? Alright, alright. I guess he's like, fuck it, I can't get around my Sphinx, so I quit. I mean, he didn't activate his effect, so. I guess he could've he could have won the main phase too and banished me, right? This charming monster it doesn't say anything that my charming monsters can't be targeted, but I don't know. Uh we'll get another duel, bear back. Wow, the duel's in the main. Alright. And another duel. Like I'm trying to set up the Sphinx place as quick as possible, but I need charming monsters and not getting any. Oh, he went first. Alright. Alright, what are we facing? Oh no. Oh no. Metal foes, of course. Everybody and their mother wants to play this deck. Right. We already know. Oh, it's pendulum dot deck. Got it. Got it. Pendulum dot deck. Got it. Pendulum dot deck. You just throw in some fucking frogs with your metal fuzz so you can go into your tree toad. All right. Awesome. Awesome. This is really all you need to do. Just throw in some fucking frogs. You know? And you have rodent toad and banish. Go ahead and summon. Go into tree toad. Like, why not? Why not? You know? Like, this pendulum dot deck is seriously annoying. Because that's all it does. It does everything. Everything that's broken. Everything. You can go into Infinity, you can go into Trigo, you can go into Ultimate, you can do so many fucking things that it's just like, I don't even really feel like dueling, you know? Like, I, I'm not even gonna duel this shit. I'm gonna duel up here. Ugh. Ugh. And it's sad, because the Metal Foes engine, like, like, what do you do, you know? Like, it just, it does so many different things. It's just like, what do you do? What do you hit, you know? I really would like to see, because I, I'll talk my mind, I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, we actually got my uh, Metaphose Trap card. You don't see that card too often. Well, it's not the greatest. It's really not. It's gonna take me a while to get into this duel. Uh, so you can add one. Cause I could, I can summon my master and then tag out, but it's not the greatest. What turn you could target two banished cards? Two cards in your grave. You can banish the country gave her any combination of rock or field spells as it's back to target. I, don't know. I only play one of the field spells. I mean, one of the trap cards. It's okay, I guess. Let's all go after you, and we'll figure out if we're, what we're facing. Oh! Oh, we're facing blue eyes. Awesome. Awesome. Of course we're facing that top tier shit. That's annoying. That's annoying. 
wow, and he opened up so passively. But wait, you're playing Blue Eyes. You chose to go first, right? Because I would have went first, but you chose to go first. First, all right. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Like Ancient White Stump's probably one of the most broken Blue Eyes cards. Like it really is. Yeah. Yay! Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Why would you choose to go first when you're playing Blue Eyes, fuck boy? Wow, I'm blind. Blind hitting. Wow, wow, alright, alright. Fucking... Wow. That's real annoying. Of course he just has multiple galaxy cyclones and shit. Like, what the fuck is this duel? What the fuck is this duel? Oh, that's fine. The sad thing is that I can I can hit stop his synchro summon because I still have a solemn strike, but he still has an ancient stone during the end phase. Like it's ancient stone. Like I don't even care about alternative. Like alternative is good, but he's not stupid like fucking ancient white stone. All right, all right, I'm done. I'm done. Get another duel, bear. All right, we got another duel. This guy's name looks familiar. I think I think I I think this is the metal fuzz guy, but I guess we'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, I got Hunter, so he can give me additional also. Actually, I can I can set up my plays, like, right now. It's actually pretty good. It's pretty good, because I can get Cruiser, and I could pop Cruiser. Summon, summon, pop Cruiser. Cruiser will get me, and uh, get me search of this thing, and then I could switch out, and then put uh, King Golem, and tag out King Golem as well. So, this opening head's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. So, I'll activate this. And... Uh, so there's normal summon I could draw a card then discard a card. That's actually pretty legitimate, but there's really nothing I want to discard right now. So, just normal summon you. Unless it's my next card, you know. I mean, why not? I mean, doing that's not terrible. I'll get rid of Hunter. And I'll get an additional normal summon. Get another 500 light points to that effect. It's not like I'm losing anything. You know? I'll keep those two. We'll set these because I'm going to card demise and then probably draw into more shit. The next turn then you two can both use your effects, go off and then tag out. You know, tag my shit out. I'm going to lose my cruiser. Wait, I can do cruiser for cruiser, but then I'll lose the monster that I add. Yeah, that's the problem with playing card demise in here. Is that I don't want to the multiple filled spells, you know? So I'll probably just end up losing this cruiser. Duality. And quaking. So he knows I have a Quaking, but does he not have two Quakings? Uh, then there's no point. So I can cert, I can add a monster. Anything to put back? I can put back a Tramon monster. You know what? I could play Cruiser over Cruiser, right? I'm gonna get Cruiser effect next turn. Search for a monster, which it really doesn't matter because I'm gonna pitch it during the end phase because card demise. It's fine. I guess I've got master, get him in the duel. And then I can actually use Dancer to put back my uh my cruiser. So I don't think you have to run uh three of each field spell. Oh I can't do any damage. I can't do any damage. I forgot card demise. Should do that in main phase too. After I did damage. Oops, yes, that's a misplay. That's a misplay. I forgot. I'm so used to going first. But he went first and didn't do anything. So I'm so used to, yo, know, going first and then he, and then, so I can't do any damage anyway. But I forgot he actually went first and did nothing, so. Like, I should you not? Wow. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. And caught the swiftest Regeki. So, which one would be the best fill throw right now? I guess Golem. Like, wow. I caught I caught the swiftest fucking one do you do? Oh, I'm gonna get a search. I'm gonna get a search anyway. Wow. It threw that Regeki on my bitch ass. <laughs> Alright. I guess. No, I'm thinking Hunter. Additional normal summon would be nice. 
if I get another Tremon monster. And getting me called Haunted's in this duel either. And he threw the swiftest Rodeki on my bitch ass. Like, ugh. Um, still there's nothing. Like, alright. Oh, uh, no, this one turn. Alright. So, I'll just go up to a 1900 beater and just poke you. I don't need to play additional lose one turn right now. I'll just hold on to it in my hand. I'm not desperate for anything. Uh, go ahead. So this one is like a special summon a Tribe Monster from my hand. I don't have any Tribe Monsters in my hand, so. Oh shit, I didn't know it was Dark Condition. <laughs> That's fine. You can add yourself a thousand knives. That's why he went first, but I guess he just didn't open up with anything. At least he got his Eternal Soul. Uh, it's got his dark magic attack, but you gotta have a dark condition on the field for that. And there's no way I'm gonna allow you to get a dark condition on the field. I got vanities, my my my, my dog. Yeah, I three eternal soul to summon another dark condition. Oh wait, to summon dark condition? I'm not even sure if you have dark condition. Like, I haven't seen him all fucking duel. Like if anything, I would have summoned dark condition with eternal soul then did a dark magic attack. Nah, that's fine. Trying to get something to get dark condition, I guess. I don't have no idea. So wish me luck, another Utah Regionals. Wow, wow, damn, nigga, you ate the fattest dicks. You, whoo, oh my god, shit. <laughs> you ate the dick like it was candy. Like, what the fuck did I just see? <laughs> I need to start tagging out my field spells. Like, they get like cruiser back, cruiser search, like. I once activated during the end phase. Yeah, fuck me, yeah, you, you got fucked real hard. Like, holy shit. That was, that was disgusting. I'm gonna pretend I didn't even see that. I guess it wouldn't be a terrible off time to activate card in mice. I still draw them too, but... Like, holy shit. Holy shit, my dude. So you're gonna add another Dark Magic Attack or Thousand Knives? Like, I think that's your problem, is that you're playing Dark Magic Attack and Thousand, so many Dark Magic Attacks and Thousand Knives. Like, I'd probably play, like, one Dark Magic Attack, if any, you know? Like... I mean, you'll be okay. All you need to do is just draw into a Dark Condition. But I have Vanity, so... God damn it! God damn it! It always fucking ends my turn without me doing shit, like... I have my time card. That's cool. Target one other face-up card on the field. Destroy it. Target one rock-type monster in your graveyard. Shall summon it in defense position. Just by banishing two. Yeah, that, 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 that's actually exactly what I need. Exactly what I need. Cool. Go ahead and poke you with 1900 again, because fucking our mateys. Golem is just getting it in. Cool. You gonna activate it again? No. I forgot to chain resolves backwards, so he's still gonna resolve his plays. That sucks. That sucks. He's still gonna get his fucking shit. Ah, uh, it sucks. So you can summon Dark Mission, Dark Magic, attack me, and blow my nipples away. Like, Alright. That sucks. Ah, uh, fuck. Doesn't even matter if I lose one turn, because that, that does nothing against Dark Mission. God damn it. God damn it. Go ahead and summon your Dark Mission that you have in your hand. God damn it. Oh. I might as well get all my effects out of the way first. Oh wait, I could just pop your uh, your eternal soul. Awesome, awesome. I could just pop your eternal soul. Yes, yes. I forgot I can pop your eternal soul. That is so good. Uh, you too. That. Get that shit out of here. Get that shit out of here, my dog. No, no dark condition. Oh wait, you can negate with magicians navigate. Oh my god. Never fucking mind. I forgot you can negate with Magician's Navigate. I was like, I was like, get that shit out of here. Never mind. All right. All right. I'm going to be in some deep shit. <laughs> I'm going to be in some deep, 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 deep shit. Deep shit. Fucking wow. Judge the Dark Magician and here we go. Here we go. Really? 
you're gonna negate my king's goal. I mean, I might as well fuck it and tag it out for a different filth spell. Can I use the effect once per turn? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so you negated my kingle. Like, okay, I'm thinking that's fine. Now, if you activate another eternal, another magician's navigate, you're gonna activate another magician's navigate. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and tag out. I was like, I was like, why, why would you do that? You know, why would you get rid of my king's soul? But it doesn't matter. Um, get me cruiser because. When he wipes me, I can go ahead. With dark magic attack, I can go ahead and uh, do that. Yep, so then he's gone. Dark magic attack. At least I get a search. Ah, uh, Magician's Navigate. God, that card's annoying. Yeah. That targets a set card that does nothing, like... I've got Sphinx, but I'm gonna be pitching it with card demise anyway, and I'll get Dancer. Alright, great! Couldn't get rid of his Eternal Soul. That's awesome. Really? You have no... Sp Why would... Wow. If I lose this duel... Like, this guy's not even good. Like... <laughs> always something crazy. Always something crazy. Just like this duel. Fucking Magicians Navigate. Negating my shit. We have Dark Condition on the field. Like, yay, thank you for giving him that card. Please don't tell me he has any more Dark Magic attacks. Like, this man play, actually plays like more Dark Magic attacks, and I'll fucking be ripped. Oh, that's why he's Summoner Summoner Monk. Okay, that's fine. Like, I don't even like your deck. I said, if he plays multiple dark magic attacks, I'm gonna be fucked. I mean, I'm still, still kinda in hot water. Hopefully, Cardamize can save me. Um. Uh. Not too much here. Yeah, there's really not too much here. Add it to your hand. Okay. I lose one turn of strike and warning, but that does nothing against him. Like once again, once again, he blew up my quakings. My quakings are gone. Like if I have my quakings, lose one turn does nothing against him. My strikes and warnings, he's just normal monsters, you know. Unless he exceeds those two into like a dark magician XC, I don't really have anything. Um, and I wish I didn't activate card demise because then I could potentially like pop my field spell and you know grab something else like. So I'll get Cruiser and then summon. I already normal summon this turn. Never mind. I already normal summon this turn. I forgot I did because I got fucked up when I normal summoned it. I forgot I already normal summoned this turn. So I'm gonna end up pitching this master that I drew who's doing, doing absolutely nothing. Great. Alright, so I pretty much have to hope that he exceeds these two. But then even if he does, he still has Eternal Soul. So he could just, you know, summon back a Dark Magician. So. Still fucked. Still fucked. Still fucked. Lost my Quakings. Lost my Quakings. Went into flare. <sighs> kind of want to sell him, him, but then he could just summon a dark magician back. I have nothing to get rid of this eternal soul right now. Like, <sighs> yeah, I'll strike that. I'll strike that. I said I'll strike that. Why'd you? Why'd you? Did you freeze? Did you freeze? Why'd you? I think why'd you just froze. Because I said I'll activate it, and now nothing's working. Yep, yep, why'd you press? Awesome! Whatever, we're probably going to lose that duel anyway. Like, I need so much to come back into that duel. So much. Like, not really. I have to take the duel turn slow. Oh, no, it actually did it. Wow, I was about to say, like, is this duel, like, really over? Like, I'm glad I have lose one turn that does absolutely fucking -lutely nothing against Dark Condition. Like, awesome. Yeah. Like, it does nothing against Dark Magician. Nothing. I miss my Quaking so much. And even then, he would still have plays. I could probably wait out the two Dark Magicians and then Quaking him, but outside of that... Wow, another Dark Magic attack! 
All right, all right, all right. Another dark magic attack because he plays two. Like, fuck me. Uh, I'm so fucked. I am so fucked. F U C K fucked. Like, wow. Wow, I, I, I seriously thought I might win this duel. But, hey, you know, I have nothing to get rid of the Eternal Soul. He had dark, ma dark magic attacked me twice. I fucking lost my quakings. Like, fuck me, you know? All because of that fucking vanity and emptiness and the fucking chain the eternal soul with the magician's navigate. Like that that's where it, that's where it all went downhill. Yay! Solemn fucking strike. That's totally what I need. Like, yep, lost again because I'm not getting the correct cards. GG, GG. I fucking Oh my god. We're done. We're done. <laughs> Always something crazy. Like that. Wow, I can't believe I actually lost that duel. Well, oh, that goes to show you tremors are not that great. They're not that great. Mm -hmm. One duo, the one duo deck where it fucking lose one turn is actually like nothing. You know, lose one turn is actually pretty legitimate. But nope. <laughs> nope. If only I was able to summon my strengths, I might have been able to do something. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. Anyway, well, I apologize. I got destroyed in these in these duels. Holy shit. But no one said chimes are good because they're not. Their monsters suck. Like, their monsters legitimately suck. Like, they need better monsters. Their fill spells are decently well if you can exchange it. But just give him one more charming monster that you can exchange fill spells during either player's turn. He would be great. He'd be fantastic, you know? But you give charming some like, shitty-ass monsters. Like, Master kind of sucks. Hunter's okay. Dancer kind of sucks. Like, you know? It takes me a while to summon my boss monster properly. Just, ugh. We're done here. So, uh, wish me luck in... At least better luck in fucking tomorrow's regionals outside of this fucking video, you know? But the deck I'm taking, like, I showed it to my friend Ryan, he was like, yeah, you better get your fight with this, because it's just, like, wow. It's just, it seriously is just wow. So, uh, if I don't do well, if I if I do well on my top, of course, I'll do a deck profile, but if I don't, I may hold off on the deck profile and take the deck to uh, Utah Regionals after tweaking it, you know, so it depends, it depends. Because there's another Utah, Utah Regional in November, APCs will be out by then, but hey, you know, we can prepare, we can prepare accordingly. If everybody wants to jump on that deck and, and play ABCs, and hey, that would be easier for me to decide and, you know, prepare for. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duel. Thanks for watching that support. See you guys next time.